So, what are we dealing with? The Forest is a survival game with clear scripted progression. So, think less of Minecraft with its almost everything being random, and think more Subnautica with the exploration parts, the barebones story, and so on. You're at that, traveling with Timmy, a child who genuinely looks like a fucking unreasonably horrid creature. Look, I teach kids. I ain't just anti-child. Look at this fucking monstrosity. This is uncanny valley taken to the nth degree. Regardless, uh, Timmy's taken by some lad and, uh, well, we're left to our own devices. First thing we see is the presentation, which is bloody great. It's beautiful, everything feels dynamic and real with swaying grass and needing to actually chop trees from different angles and so on. Well, anyways, we run around a bit, notice a shipping container cluster on the beach and some primal constructions. It's obvious that not only has this island had some weird human intervention, but there's definitely more out here than just that one weirdo living as a shipwrecked lunatic or something. So, quickly to note some things that are hard to mention naturally. No, the island isn't randomly generated. No, the game does not answer many questions with most of the story aspects. And no, most of the cool things on the surface, like the buildings and so on, are basically just random meshes on the map, with them not serving any purpose. There are no villages. There's nothing like that, uh, even though you would obviously think so. In the end, this game is just another survival game, but man, is it good at giving you the first strong impression. We meet the locals and get our ass whooped. Wait, they're taking me somewhere. What the hell? We're actually in a cave at this moment. This is one of, if not the, cave complex underneath the island. And while it's intriguing, it ends up being unnecessarily forced on you for progression. They're confusing, glitchy with their formation due to the movement bugs, and they're just unpleasant to be in. Not that a cave needs to be pleasant, but the fact is that I dreaded going into caves, and it was mainly solely because of how bothersome they were, taking me away from the fun aspects. So, this is kinda how it works. Build up a base, gather resources, build more, fight cannibals, explore, find something interesting, repeat with a cave, with visit every once in a while, and let the cycle continue. In the end, so much becomes meaningless. Making a big base means that you're wasting time that you aren't spending on actually advancing. Advancing takes the value away from most crafting since the best tools are the found items. Sometimes, however, the game does get you into a stride. You can find a cassette player, which lets you play collectible cassettes which have music on them. Uh, doesn't matter what the music is, you'll most likely just cling to it because it's the first music you've heard in hours. Seeing anything special feels... well... special. Another interesting thing about this game is the AI of the enemies. To this day, not everything's really known about the AI workings. The game manages to make the enemies mysterious in a great way. You'll see them rushing along the coastline in droves for no reason. Uh, sometimes they'll attack you. Sometimes they run away to call reinforcements. Sometimes, well, they just run. Sometimes, however, they mount massive offenses at you. They're unpredictable, and man, is it great to see that. Sure, you'll find exploits and weaknesses, don't get me wrong, but the behavior will always elude you if you play casually. Sadly, however, 
what seems like a great mystery unfolding in front of your eyes leads to, well, just nothing. Small spoiler, but the enemy just passes around the map in predetermined routes with no meaning being anywhere. I was hoping something more was to it, but there, well, there just wasn't. You'll get a couple of things to build, a couple novel ideas like houseboats and so on, but other than that, you'll have around 5 hours to build your base, a few hours to explore, and a few hours to explore the caves. Since this is an experiencing video, let's quickly talk about the last story beat. You end up in an underground research facility after a trial through a load of caves to descend into a sinkhole. Inside, you find that the person kidnapped your kid to revive his kid through some science. Yeah, it's not explained. You find a normal child and basically choose your ending. Either you bring down another plane with an EMP or shut everything down. I shut it down and was thrust back into the game with nothing happening. The other ending I will not spoil but I will say it involves a few minutes of a cutscene in case you want to give it a shot. So, is the forest worth your shekels? Mm, sure, if you want a polished survival experience that's good with giving you an experience without any replay value. This isn't a top-notch purchase for me, and if you're a stickler like me, then this isn't looking like it will be a quality purchase for years to come. Thanks for watching.